I'm, my name is Dr. John Engel. I'm with the uh, King Carden uh, Medical Clinic here in King Carden, Ontario. Uh, I run a general uh, family practice here out of the clinic, uh, very similar to most of the other uh, people here. Uh, basically, it's kind of a womb to tomb, with the only exception being is we don't do deliveries. We do do prenatal care, and then approximately 20 to 28 weeks, the patients will be referred out to the facility where they wish to uh, have their delivery done. Even then, sometimes we continue to share visits, uh, especially if they have chosen a delivery location that's somewhat distant uh, from us, or uh, in the winter especially, a lot of times we will do visits because the weather uh, inhibits uh, easy travel and that. Uh, so we're likely in any given day to see anyone from a brand new newborn baby up to someone who we may have over in the nursing home and may even be on palliative uh, care. Uh, generally our day will start with um, uh, rounds if we have anyone in the hospital. Uh, hospital uh, census does in fact vary. On the average we would average one patient in a day but usually we'll go from zero patients to maybe having as many as three or four patients in. So generally we'll meet about 8 o'clock in the morning, try and get those rounds done, and then come back and office hours will start about 9. We'll go, we'll take a break around lunchtime, and then start off, off again until um, uh, from 1 until about, we're usually done seeing patients by about 4 or 4.30, but we have paperwork and precepting things to, uh, to uh, uh, tie up. Uh, generally the residents will see patients on their own, uh, occasionally there will be a uh, patient that does not wish to see a resident, uh, but that's not a terribly common occurrence, one, maybe two patients a day, uh, max. Uh, if the patient is uh, you know, relatively uh, uh, uncomplicated and the resident is very comfortable with their plan, they're instructed to go ahead and just deal with the situation, but always there uh, to uh, uh, back up, answer any questions and then any patients, of course, that have any type of complexity, uh, we uh, uh, will go in together and, and deal with them. Uh, we do do procedures in the office, mainly your standard office, lump and bump uh, surgeries, and generally I try to let the residents do as many procedures as they possibly can and that they're comfortable doing. If we have a procedure that's a little more complicated for them for our procedure room, We'll make arrangements and do those over, usually in the emergency department here early in the morning. And once again, I usually try to let the residents do as much of the procedure. If, and if possible, I've, if I don't even have to put on gloves, that's great. You know, we'll, we'll stand and we'll talk through it and, and get it done. We also do um, emergency room rotations. In an eight-week cycle, I'm scheduled for approximately 13 to 14 shifts. Uh, that may be either a day shift that goes from 8 in the morning to 6 p.m. or it may be the evening shift that maybe goes 6 p.m. to 8 the next morning. If we are on an evening shift, we don't have office hours the preceding day or the, or the, or the following day in that. Uh, the resident will be expected to tackle anything that comes through the door. Um, uh, we will we'll be right there, we'll work together, trading off seeing patients and that. I like to let the residents be as challenged as their limits uh, will allow them and help, actually help them push their envelope a little bit because they'll never learn what their limit is if they don't do that. So there's a fair amount of lacerations and uh, occasionally we'll do some uh, biopsies. If we have an orthopedic problem, uh, we may do some casting and that simple things. But the big thing I think from the emergency room is we'll see a lot of acute to semi-acute uh, uh, problems. Also, they'll get an opportunity to see what it's like to have to deal with issues and make referrals at, uh, at a hospital that's in a more rural location, what I like to refer to as the end of the road, because we do not have consultants readily available to us. So if somebody comes in with a, with a more acute problem, we've got to deal with the initial, then we've got to decide, can we handle it here, do we need to send it down the line, and if so, how quickly do we need to do that? Generally, it works quite well. Uh, we're a very collegial group here. Uh, backup will come in readily if we have a real problem and we need uh, other physicians to come in and help. That's never been an issue here. And uh, we've had pretty good response from uh, uh, the one number critical in the orange uh, uh, transfer service uh, when needed. Uh, our hospital is a small general hospital. Um, 
They do do some outpatient and a little bit of inpatient surgery. We do have anesthesia here and a general surgeon who's here. We have, I think, 23 or 24 licensed beds. So the young uh, residents are, are very welcome and, uh, and encouraged to do uh, quite a bit here and the nurses are quite helpful in that. Um, the community, Concord is a very uh, 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 beautiful place, especially when the weather's good. Even when the weather's bad and we have a hard time getting around, there's still some things that you can do. But you know, we keep people busy enough here that you're not going to be r running around a lot. Although if you want to get out here on your days off and find someone to cross country ski or, or snowmobile with, there's usually a way uh, to get that done. Other than that, we look forward to having the residents out and uh, hope that they're getting uh, good experiences.